Hey guys, JH, welcome to Practice Tea. Okay, what I want to talk about today is something that will help you know, a lot of uh, players generally. If you're someone that has problems in your golf swing with, you know, a, a, a sameish position on the backswing and a sameish position or process on the downswing, that's invariably comes about because we have too much of this in the golf swing way too much of this in the golf swing now that's traditional like that that cocking those wrists on the backswing has been taught since time immemorial I mean that's just just the way the golf is is um, is taught but guys I'll give you a story and how this system actually changed a person's golfing career there was a guy that played the US tour who got to the stage where he was so flippy in his golf swing he couldn't hit it anywhere and I saw him in America when he was at, the, at that time and he was going to retire he was just going to retire because he was a 10 handicap he just by his own admission he said I can't play I can't hit the ball anyway he somehow got convinced to to take all this out of his golf swing and his golf swing basically was that in that when he took it back he felt like he has no wrist cock in his golf swing at all and that guy went from someone that was a, a pro who was basically a 10 handicapper who was going to retire who went on and became number one in the world and that's Steve Stricker now Stricker was chronic to the extent that he was going to retire he just couldn't hit the ball and when I saw him he was chronic you didn't know where it was going because there was all this going on now as soon as Steve and I can't remember who got him down that road or whether he just got down that road himself but Steve basically in his golf swing does this he takes the club back so it feels entirely in his golf swing that he's doing this now I've done it before, I did a, a video about four years ago with, with just this principle. And I had a period, a long time back, where I played exactly like that. And I hit the ball great. And we were here on Friday, and just on our Friday afternoon sort of expression session with a couple of buddies of mine. And one of my mates said, JH, remember that, you know, when you're really extending your arms with no, uh, no wrist break? Um, why wouldn't you do that again? Or should I do that? Anyway, he, he was just leaving. Anyway, we started doing it. And I absolutely killed it, guys. So that's why I was keen to get it on video. So what is it? What is the principle? I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you in essence what it is. In miniature form. It's basically this. That's what I feel like in a full golf swing. I feel like that in a full golf swing. Now, clearly, I don't look like that in a full golf swing because there's much more momentum. And as I change direction, I pull angle on the golf club. As I change direction, I pull the angle. I mean, I have to because of inertia and velocity and the length of the golf swing and just the power that's associated with it. And I'm turning my body back. When I hit this little, this little pitch shot, that looks very Mo Normanish. Well, Mo certainly wasn't flippy in the way that he set up his backswing. But essentially, guys, that's what it is, in essence. It's a longer version of what I just showed you there. And what I feel, the golf swing feels, and if you watch Stricker, Stricker actually looks like this. And there's a lot of comment about him having a, a, a wrist break uh, less golf swing. He has basically straight arms. Now... He's an incredible ball striker, you know, in the top five, I think, on the tour, in, in my opinion. After, like, he came from, from a chronic uh, golf swing mechanics to, to a world top-of-the-line player and has won a lot of tournaments since then, became number one. So it's testament, and he hasn't changed from that process, guys. So how do we do it in the full swing? Well, all I think about is that because I have a lot of connection here anyway when my upper arms are on my pecs and I have this type of look about me when I pull it I mean I'm not a I'm not a, an early cocker I'm actually a, a late downloader I actually download it there then let it go I don't download it there and hold it and then hammer it I've got to beat this rain guys <clears throat> so guys for, for people who are inconsistent hit the ball you know inconsistently it's because of this guys and, and I'll do a, a pitching video and I'll show you the, the advantage that you can have with this, 
this process and, and what I'm going to call it is the windscreen wiper uh, mechanics in the basically guys I feel like this I feel like a windscreen wiper that's what it feels like there's none of this it feels like a windscreen wiper and the wider I can get that 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 end of the windscreen wiper blade that way the more efficient I become in the golf swing so in the full swing guys it's now it'll look like I get to here like my normal swing and then you'll see wrist cock because <clears throat> you have to have wrist cock in the downswing I mean you can't have that you I mean you can't do that you wouldn't hit any power you could do it with those little pitch shots because you don't require power but but I can tell you my intention is that my hands are in in cement a plaster cast here and I go back like this I try and actually keep my right arm on top of my left and I try and push it that way I want to feel at the top of the swing that the club's there guys I remember Jack Kirkendall explaining to me about you know there's the smallest arc in golf which is this one where we go here and the, and the head of the club is here to the biggest arc in golf which is that one when the club's up there if you could actually swing like that you would hit it with so much power well JB Holmes has a lot of that in his golf swing and he's only the same size as me and you know what he's like he's a 350 hitter and, but JB gets here so guys what I'm trying to do is feel that and and okay see that 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 formation of my hands there I want to keep that formation I don't want to let any wrist cock come in I don't want to let any hinge come in I want to push it to there and then as I as the club is still going that way I'm turning against it like this and that's what creates the download for me well I got my buddy on the camera here today so he can move around a little bit so th this is what it what it actually looks like for me it won't look that dramatically different to my normal golf swing now guys that that is just ballistically straight and these are not my normal irons I've got a another set of irons steel shafts uh, which are in the C200 Wilson's because I've really been getting so much download with this new system in the last couple of days that those softer shafts in those graphites just can't take the load and they just tend to collapse a little bit so guys this is what it is I'll try and do it smoothly doesn't get any better than that how's that mr. cameraman very good now he's a hard taskmaster our old cameraman you get no accolade from him unless the shots perfect but that's just that is <laughs> I, I tell you guys the reason I'm doing this and the excitement is that after it was, and actually it's my cameraman that uh, that spoke to me about this before he left on Friday and my other buddy and I we, we kept hitting him we just from the moment he walked away we just hit it like well like a robot we never missed a shot and here it is guys so what I'm trying to do is this and then I just turn against it the club is actually feels like there's a bungee cord on that pulling the club that way and then I just turn against it there's no there's no there's none of this I don't feel any of that I'm not down cocking it's all happening as a result of the club going from that elongated extension of the arm to here that just happens now guys I haven't hit any shots I'm dead cold so the swing will look a little bit scratchy for a few shots so we've got a bit more extension doesn't get any better than that now if you can uh, in conjunction with that just have a good shoulder turn uh, you'll get you'll get plenty of um, club travel I mean all those shots are right on top of each other everyone they don't move
Now it's very athletic and it's quite physically demanding. And I would say that you would have to have a reasonable amount of body strength in your shoulders and your arms to get the club back without letting your arms collapse. I do it normally anyway, to an extent. Okay, see if we can really do a good job here. So there's no movement on them. Now all I have to do now is just increase the shoulder turn. And we'll get more download. Like that. See? Have a look at that, Clint. That's that's 25 on the fly, longer than the others, isn't it? Yeah, I can tell by the speed of the club too. Yeah, and just the sound. And that's just just a little incremental change in the in the in the shoulder turn. Okay, Clint, do you want to move around here? And I'll just hit a couple this way so you can have a look at what the backswing looks like. Um, I'll just hit some this way. Okay, we'll just hit it over the flag there, guys. Now, there's no, in, there's no independent hand action at all. Okay, just do it smoother. Just hit it a little to the right of that flag. There's a white marker out there, way out in the distance. Just aim at that. Or I'll hit this one just a little to the left of the flag, as you know, my general process that I never try and hit the same shot all the time. Hit this one just to the left. Guys, it becomes automatic. I'll hit one this way and see if we can get a better angle. I'll just hit one for that, that sign out there, dead ahead. I just hope you can see some ball flight. It's cloudy today, you may not. Okay, nice big hands in, uh, in plaster. Doesn't get any better than that. Now it feels like this, guys. It feels like the eternal triangle. It just feels like that, and that, that, and that. I'll just, uh, this will be good. I just had my sand iron in the uh, loft and lime machine. I just bent it down about six degrees from where it was. I haven't hit a shot with it. But I'm just gonna hit one. Um, I'll just hit a ball out here, which is basically our theme, guys, where we don't aim at flags, we aim at balls. So, watch this. Alright, see that flag, at the, that, that ball at the back there? So that's just past the flag. Oh, the sand on is so flat. Okay, we're just going to push it back and through. hit another one the good thing about and just digressing guys if you what I'm trying to do with my pitch shots is make sure that completely eliminate any possibility of a ball going left now this is so flat this is like six seven degrees flatter than a normal one so I'm gonna have to adjust a little bit because it just basically wants to go to the right so I just have to just square it up a little bit but look there's no straight at the flag We'll hit this one in the direction of the flag. Now what's... Whew, apart, apart what's interesting is, is that when you've got a sand iron, that's, this sand iron is probably 7 degrees flat from where I normally have it. 
or six and it's just laying dead open like that so I've got to just square it up a little bit but guys what watch the action look it's just it's just just basically dead arm it's just a dead arm action with no absolutely no commitment to um, to any wrist clock whatsoever None whatsoever. Right, let's see if we can knock one right in the hole. Okay, now I know how this, this club is supposed to be set up. You've got to just, just pull it in a little bit because it's so open. It's about, being flat, it's about five or six degrees open as well. Okay, that's it. Okay. All right, I just hit a couple of drivers down range to just give you an idea of what it looks like with the driver. That sand on, I think, frankly, I've just made it way, way, way too flat. It's sitting open, so open. Oh boy. Well, you know, you, it scares the daylights out of you because it's just, just so open. Okay. I just hit a couple down range. But absolutely no wrist break. It feels very Mo Normanish through the ball because your arms are very long. They're just amazingly long through the ball. I just did one more. Just hit it this way. You want to just take a couple front on? Okay, watch the extension I get here. amazing that download is actually stressing the shaft just jamming it it's amazing that could be the best drive I've ever hit here how long is that so guys there's no I don't want to do anything but just keep my arms straight keep the club an extension of my arms I don't want to do anything else, nothing else. Now if I can... Okay, we'll do this nice and smoothly. I've been trying to do this, get some shots in before the rain. Okay, we'll do this really smoothly. Proper process. Nice backswing. Okay, see if I can make the big shoulder turn, but nothing to do with the hands. The hands are just going to keep going that way. That's the most download I've ever felt in a, in a driver in my life. In my life, I've never felt download like that. Now that's what happens, guys. The tension gets back here, and then it can sustain it no longer, and it just does this. I'll be interested to see that swing on video myself. Right, one more. Can't believe how how much velocity. I'd be interested to know what the club head speed difference is. I'd say, what do you reckon, Clint? Five mile an hour? I reckon we're up at least five miles an hour because that's carrying another, you know, probably 18, maybe 20 in the air. So I've got no spikes on, guys, and the ground's been raining here. Ground is very wet. Actually slipped a little bit there. But 
guys, it's very exciting. Very exciting. So, how do you learn it? Just get yourself a wedge. Like this. And just do... Like everything is just locked, guys. We've got the, the forward... Um, fixed fulcrum. And we're just going to take it back and through. That's how you learn it. And then you just go up from there. Just elongate the swing. And the momentum will take care of itself. But we don't want any any movement. It's just that and that. Okay guys, I'll do something a little bit better during the week. Because that was very rushed and shouldn't have hit those sand iron shots with that club straight out of the loft and lime machine. Because... Those new pings, they're very soft, and, and I felt when I was bending them that it really bent a lot, and I never checked it, but it's just crazy. It's like, it's probably about seven degrees flatter than I normally play. So I'd really have to, have to release it hard. Okay, guys, that, that's basically it. We'll do some more on it uh, in the next couple of days, but what we call the windscreen wiper. And a very rough exhibition today, trying to do it fast and... Uh, before the rain and everything's done in a rush. But the basic principle is, guys, we don't want any wrist cock. We are, if we have, you know, stainless steel rods through here and our hands never change their vocation consciously. Okay, we'll do some more during the week.